We'll, okay. We'll, okay, so we'll just roll anyway. With the tactics. We do have some tactics. <laughs> so we can we make it. Back. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it. We will have some tactics in the game. So if yeah. if we don't have it right this time, it's not, I think, I'm not sure what Castoni was supposed, what tactics he was going to show today, but we will have some. <laughs> So let me just see. Yes, yes, and now we have our title. Hey, we are back. Title? <laughs> yes. Yes, that's great. Then we don't have to make it something it's not. <laughs> so great. Yes, is it G5? Nobody's watching. Yes, everybody will be yes. watching in a moment, but we've had some problems. <laughs> so now I think, um, I think everything is working fine. So it's black to play here and it's G5. We were looking at G5, but um, guys, if you could give us uh, some more details. Sophie, what do you think? What yeah, do I do think, after I think G5? Now I got another minute to look at the position and I think it is G5. I think it's G5. And then after white moves the bishop to G3, mm. then B3, right? Again, like we're threatening a piece and no matter what white captures with, we will take on e4 with the knight. So then there's no longer the pin uh, on the queen on d8. And um, once we take on e4 with the knight, uh, it's we're also threatening the bishop on g3. Mm -hmm. And the bishop doesn't really have any moves. And if white captures the, the knight on e4, then uh, I think we. Oh, maybe I'm missing something, because d6 is hanging after if he captures the knight back. Yeah. Hmm. Oh wait, can we just take and no, we can't. We can play g5 and then we can take on d5. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. Good. Fine. So we can play g5 and then we can take on. On d5, that's the idea in this simple. position. Yeah. But I just need to make the moves. And Sophie, let me know if you see the moves. I see the g5, yes. Okay. Hello, more people joining. Great. So we'll have some more help in a few a few moments. That's good. Now we're not going to see a tile game today. <laughs> but no, wasn't, no. <laughs> wasn't that the game we saw? Didn't wouldn't we start with Gurgenitsa tile tile last week? The sacrifice on f2. Yeah, I think that was a tile. Wasn't that the that was Tal. I, uh... Sounds like Tal. Yes. Let me just... Yes. That was the one. I'm pretty sure that was the one. If this you guys is... have seen the last... Our last oh, week. I think you can pronounce the names better than I can. Kurgenidze. Yeah, that was the game we saw last, last week. We actually started with it. And we saw the sacrifice on F2. But, okay, 95. There were more here. Uh, there's more here, not just, uh, we can still take on d6, no? This is not over so soon, but what are we doing here? We are... <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Let me see... Does anybody have any suggestions here while Sophie is also thinking? Somebody is suggesting Queen F6. Yes, uh, and I was waiting for a suggestion from you as well before giving you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought let let me let me see I what look, Sophie I, thinks I look about briefly it. At queen f6. I'm just trying mm. to understand it completely, um, because I, I mean, it's threatening the, the bishop, of course. But if the bishop moves back, I'm just trying to see what the. 
or in fact, take on C5. You guys need to see you take on what happens. And I think yeah. if you see that, you will find something better than Queen F6. Knight to F4, someone is suggesting. Better AI. Knight to F4 is an interesting suggestion after Bishop yeah. takes D6. And that is also the best move in this position. Queen F6 yeah. is interesting. Yes. Um, the idea is that, okay, if Queen F6, I'm just going to show this first. Bishop C5, yeah. now we do have Knight F4 again. And we are going to have some great attack here. We can yeah. take on c5 uh, and we have pressure. We've seen um, how everything can can happen quickly on the king side. Bishop b7 maybe. Yeah. But here after queen f6, white doesn't have to take and knight c4 can be played. And I think this is, um, this is starting to look fine for white. I okay. defend my bishop here on e2 and I defend okay b2 in case I want to move my knight away yeah so knight c4 looks like uh, a good and maybe defense. white can then go for e5 at some point probably yeah we yeah. need to see how that goes so here we could go for knight f4 immediately this is very strong we attack the bishop Sophie let me know yeah. if you still see the board I knight see, f4. Yeah, I see the knight on f4 okay and now we are attacking the bishop. So suppose they go bishop f3, right? Yeah. What what can we do now after bishop to f3? What's mm. our next step? Sounds like it's something uh, concrete. I don't know. Does it? <laughs> I don't, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Like, I mean, a move like um, maybe bishop b7 to put something on that diagonal and, and make e4 a little bit weak, but it seems. It doesn't seem like the fastest move to play. Ninety-five, um, the same better AI is suggesting. Ninety-five looks good, huh? And Sinan ninety-five. Nine, nine, A5? E5, E5, five. E five. E five. Sorry. E five. Ah, okay. Yeah, ninety-five. I also thought about. Um, but we need to see what then happens. Then we will get if, the bishop pair if he captures. If he captures, but what if he yeah. captures on C five? Mm, then I, I think, don't we still get the bishop here? I mean, just taking the bishop on f3? I don't know. Maybe it's not the best follow up. Or maybe we can just play queen c7 then. Is that winning the bishop? Uh, knight not completely. Five, knight takes, bishop takes c5, and queen c7 in this position. Yeah. yeah. Um, is it winning the bishop? I think I can defend, right? I think you can defend, but. Um, but how? It, well, I mean, what is the best way to do? If I play queen c seven, but you are not threatening to take my bishop for now. So maybe if I play knight e three to defend the queen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> g four. No. Here, g four. No, not right now. But if if I play a uh, knight e five. And then he captures on c5. Yeah. Then can I play g4 now? g4 looks like a good move, no? Yeah. Okay. This is. I have bishop e3, but I think my bishop is not coming out of f3, right? Yeah. g4 yeah. is also waiting here. G4. I was say, thinking that I could try this, maybe kick your knight out, but you don't have to go, right? Do you see the position? Yeah, I see the position. Okay. Here you could just play knight d3, right? And defend the knight. And g4 is still defended by the bishop. Yeah. So g4 is working. Yes, you are right, Sophie. Uh, the move I had seen here was b3, and this is also quite fun to see. 
uh, the point being that the queen on d2 defends the, the, the knight, right? Ah, so yeah, queen right. b3 doesn't work. And so then he would take with the knight and then the yeah. bishop on d3 is not, yeah. And then we take queen d7 and we want to play queen h3 next. Yeah. And mate him. Yeah. And g4 <laughs> is, uh, is good enough, I think. Winning on the spot as well, you just win a piece. So we yeah. have some questions here. What happened here? Hold on, I was not paying attention. Rook takes e2. Okay, in the in the initial position when you wanted to play bishop e6, when you wanted to play bishop a6 to exchange for bishop e2, if knight takes e5, knight takes e5, how is that? Knight e5, knight e4. 94. To sacrifice the queen, that's a lot. And then oh. knight takes d2. And there's some rook takes e2 ideas. So, I, but you still don't have bishop a6, so you'd need the move a5 first, right? You'd need to get that move in yeah. to have all these ideas. And I think 94, I simply take, takes. Yeah, I can take. And you're not in time for rook e2. I think it's too much. It's just too much for, for the queen. We're not getting enough material. We're, keep the queen. We're going to keep the queen, yes. <laughs> okay, so this was the idea to show. Uh, the bishop on e2 many times in the Benoni is hanging. And this is one line where, where, where it's a problem. So g5 and knight takes d5 here. And here, remember the idea with knight f4. And knight e5 is very strong. Hold on, because there was something more than 95 in this position, if I remember right. We had another strong move here. And that was... And that was 96, yes. That's kind of more positional, but 96 is also very strong. Because we won the knight on d4. Ah, yeah. Regrouping. Regrouping, <laughs> yes. This is something we... we <laughs> We have been looking a lot and so yes 96 and 94 is very strong but 95 yeah. as the chat is saying is just begging to be played so yeah I think so. okay so we are ready to move to our next one um mm -hmm. i was going to show you another idea here and i will just have to go to the beginning here another very nice idea that you can find in this position so Okay, let me just ask you here. What would you guys play with black? A6, rook b8, planning g5. Okay, typical. But there are more typical ideas here that work um, even better here. Sophie, what's your take on this position? Um, um, <laughs> um, I was first looking at the... Um, and there's something about the e file. Mm -hmm. in, in, I, I just, I'm, I'm looking at playing f5. Good. But I want to... Is, you say good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was being a little bit too um, uh, cautious uh, before, so now I'm trying to be a little bit more aggressive. But F5... F5, I, I and have we, have, we also I'm have a suggestion in the chat. Yeah. I have a suggestion in the chat. Like, With F5, yes. F5, yeah. F5, G5... G5 could be played, it's quite typical, but I think with the knight on E3 you are giving me the square F5. Not sure if you really want to do that right now, if I have the knight on E3. Yeah, G five is an idea, but um, but maybe later in so kind of different positions, maybe. On take. So let's see a really five. 
yeah they, ha- they have to take uh with yeah. the pawn yeah they have to take on f5 that's true and these yeah. positions i think we have seen something like this right uh if not we are going to see something very similar um in uh, the, the next games that we are going to see just g takes f5 and you want to play on the g file have your yeah. attack ready there so the real question after f5 something you need to always calculate is f4 of course what happens after f4 no, I, I did not calculate this <laughs> <laughs> i know but um, you are still okay, uh, still so fine the knight is under attack so we should e- either move it or threaten something else all uh if we move it we only have a few squares to put it mm. uh, i don't like g for it's losing a pawn hmm. if i put it on yes F7, seven it's yeah but what are you going to go no d7 is the other yeah, F se- F7 or D7, I think I have to put it. There I'm not blocking the bishop, at least. Yeah. Now I'm threatening to take an E4. Yeah, so I'm going to take on F5. So what are yeah. you guys going to do next? Black does not resign after F4, Sinan. <laughs> we are actually about <laughs> to get a winning position. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's it's complicated. Something someone's writing. It's complicated. Yeah, Nicholas, it's very complicated. Um, knight f seven. Yeah, yeah, we got it so far. What yes, now? Yes, Bob, that's right. Yeah, taking an e three. Somebody's mm-hmm. suggesting taking an e three. I looked at that, but I yeah, I mean, oh, can we take an e three and then play bishop d four? But I'm taking but with the bishop. Maybe in exchange, but no, no I'm no, taking with the bishop. No, it's bishop. Of course, it's it's not working. Um, can we take back on f5 just is that too simple too simple yeah too simple okay <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 everybody oh people have it in the chat yes do you want to take a look <laughs> yeah i kind of want to i think you're going to cheat on this one Bishop d4, yes. Bishop d4 right away. Well, if you saw the idea of rook e3, ah, so okay. I know yeah. you like sacrificing, but here, it's just let's just go with the pawns. Yeah, yeah this is better. <laughs> so, bishop d4, the okay. question is, what if we take on g6? Mm, we take back? Or do we have any <laughs> other moves we can take an e3 that's a check mm-hmm. then he takes back with the uh, bishop and then it's just an exchange and if I take the bishop he will take an f7 and it's a check and it's and then I'm I'm down a, no I'm not down a piece but it's just an exchange and I think my king will be pretty uh, open at, at that point hmm. maybe and do actually. you really want to give up the bishop no 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 you only if i win something yeah. <laughs> in exchange so uh, hdg6 can be played but you have something yeah. much better so that's why i'm, I'm asking for so options we, here uh, mm, maybe taking with the rook on e3 then we have uh, a discovery check we will threaten to play Rook d3. Okay, but what's white's threat? Like, to right away. An F7. With check. Yeah, with check. Two bass. So. Mm. Okay, Bob has it already. Bob has it. I'm just gonna cheat now. I'm just gonna look. <laughs> what is Bob saying? Asha also has H6. it. Six. Knight uh, h6. Knight h6. Just moving the knight and then still have the threat. Yes, but you have an extra threat now. You want to play knight to f5. Ah, yeah. 
You want to win the yeah, the knight of e3. Me. Yeah. So here they go. Pawn takes h7. This was a game. Uh, very strong player or players also with both colors, so it can happen to anyone. I feel like there are not a whole lot of uh, pawns left on my king side. <laughs> what do we do now after pawn takes h7? I What's think, your thought here? Um, isn't the safest approach to play put the king in the corner? Yes, king h8. Yeah. Um, just to have the king safe. Now, yeah. we can look at the other moves, but the problem is that uh, white will always have some checks or uh, they will all be able to pin our knight at some point. For example, if we go king takes, oh, rook f3, knight f5, then there are these ideas with um, queen d3. I defend the, the knight yeah. and what I want to do with white are these checks there are problems with the square h7, so whenever you take on e3, I'm going to have this rook h7 or queen h7 to annoy you. Yeah. So this is going to happen, it's pretty much similar, they transpose whether king h7 or king g7, but just so you guys know what the problems are, um, the king is more exposed. So king h8, a typical way to defend when they take cool. one of your pawns on the 7th rank. And here, white has only one move to keep the game going in the sense that they will get compensation. So bishop h5 G4. is the move. Ah, uh, okay. I was looking at g4. Just but then prevent. you take then you take on e3 because your immediate yeah, threat here yeah, okay. is to, to win the knight. That's true. But bishop h5, because there's some counterplay, queen d2, we still need to get the, the pieces out. Rook e7. And maybe rookie one. And you, as you were saying, Sophie, there aren't many pawns left, so White is also trying to play for that. But you still need some time to get your pieces out with White. It's going to it be black. difficult with yeah. Black. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. It's going to be difficult, I think, for White as well, and for Black yeah. as well. So it's going to be a complicated position, but at least yeah. we are a piece up. Yeah, Bishop yeah. f5 probably can be played here. But in the game, white went for king h1. So remember that here, white has only one move. And if they if they don't know it, um, it's very difficult to find this kind of moves over, over the board. And we just take on e3. Yeah? yeah. And here, this was the game. But now queen h4. Already going for, for attacks. I want to play knight g4 next. Yeah, if he takes an on e8, e8. No, on g4, yeah. I want to mate on h2. Yeah. And black convincingly, convincingly won this game. Um, options instead of king h1, rook f3 looks like a defense. But then knight f5? And knight g4 is even better. Knight f5. Okay. Ah, so that the king can't go to f2. Uh, yes, but we also want to keep the square f5 for the bishop. We might want to play bishop f5. Um, because if knight f5, um, maybe queen d3 again, right? And try to defend the way we were trying to earlier. But if we go knight g4, here's the difference, queen d3. Now we have this very nice move, queen f6, and we want to play bishop f5. Yeah. So, but I have a question for you. What happens if king h1? I'm just getting out of the pin. Um. Can we take on e3 with the bishop and then bishop put the takes? queen on h4? No, but I, yeah. I take with my bishop. Bishop takes, bishop takes. Yeah, and then uh, queen h4. Do I have bishop g1 in that position? Or rook h3? Maybe rook h3. Uh, I don't think we have rook h Oh, yeah, okay, now you move the bishop so that the first rank is not open. Mm. Okay, Kulkid has some 
suggestions. He doesn't have the move, but he saw the tactical ideas on F2. We have some things about playing Queen H4 right away. Um, or take or playing on F2, uh, right? I'm taking an H2. Wow, you guys are so tactical, and this is so simple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's too simple, good. I think. <laughs> Uh, let's see. okay, so it's, it's simple, it's simple, okay, let's see, it's simple, then we will, mm. can we then take the, taking the knight and play bishop f5, maybe? Arian, that's correct. Someone in the chat has it? Yes, there's a trick with knight Arian, f2. Okay, yes, taking an e3, taking an e3, That's right. whoop. Ah, of course. Too easy, yeah? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I got you used with more difficult tactics. <laughs> yeah, the knights are tricky. And knight of two. Yes. I think this is the simplest. I don't know. Queen h4. Maybe queen h4 also works in this position. Maybe, because I don't have rook h3. Right? Yeah. That's, that's your point. I don't have rook h3 because knight f2 is again coming... Um, everything is hanging. And on h3 you guys still want to play knight f2, right? Yeah, probably queen h4 is also winning. Yeah, queen e1 first. Queen e1. And... Yeah. On rook. And then, ah, and knight. then knight f2. f2. Yeah. Maybe. Probably that's that way as well. <laughs> yeah. You win more material. Yeah, okay, so this was the idea that I wanted to show you. And hold on, this idea with knight h6, right? Remember that if you have this, you shouldn't be worried about um, f4 when you play f5. Knight h6, but remember this idea, because there's a problem with the knight on e3 in these positions. Yeah. So now let's go finally to the games that I wanted to, to the game that I wanted to show you today. The great game in the Benoni by uh, Sahis. We have one today. Uh, is that okay? Yes, I thought for a moment that our our board has gone crazy, but I see it. Okay, so let's see it from the beginning. Just quickly breezing through the opening phase. These are kind of typical for now. G six and E four. Uh, last week we saw with G three, right? We saw the fianchetto. And so let's see the yeah. classical one today. We're just going to switch between them. So bishop g5 is what white plays, he plays here. And h6. Okay, bishop h4. And here there, was, there are some subtleties that you guys need to know. Because one idea that black wants to play is g5. Okay, bishop g3. And it looks like after knight h5, we've gotten this dark square bishop. And then our dark square bishop will be... Uh, super strong and we will have domination on the dark squares but it's not really like that here because in this position white has this move bishop b5 and it's quite annoying after bishop b5 yeah basically we cannot put anything in front because d6 will be hanging so we cannot cover we have to play king f8 and here White has e5 already. Sacrificing this pawn because we can take on g3. But here comes the more unnatural move that white doesn't have to take with the h pawn the way we normally take, taking towards the center. But here, because the king is on f8, he takes away from the center to open the, the f file. Yeah. And there will be some problems with the king on f8. Yeah. So this is. Uh, this is not so so great here. No. So this is the problem with g5 and knight h5, basically. Someone was asking about knight takes g5 here. The problem with knight g5 is that when I take back with the h pawn, I'm defending my knight on h5. So no, knight takes g5 does not work here in this in this position. So now let's go back to the game because if you see this, you guys will understand the next move. It's a very deep prophylactic move. 
A6. Yeah. Makes so sense. we are preparing G5 and, and knight H5, right? Now, if if A4, for example, but okay, H A6 also prepares B5, right? This is one of our mm -hmm. main plans. So we, here we want two things, G5, knight H5 or B5. White cannot stop both of them. He can try to stop either B5 like this, and then we do get G5 and knight H5. And this is supposed to be fine uh, for black. Very good for black, actually. Once we take that bishop, and then he could prevent the, the idea of knight h5 with knight d2. We do have g5, but we don't have knight h5 anymore. This is the thing. So, but yeah. what do we, do we play here? And then we play b5? Yeah. Or we okay. castle one of those. No, b5, b5 is first, more precise. Yes, so he doesn't play a4. Correct, yeah. yes. So we don't waste this opportunity. Now bishop e2, and here you just get the pieces out, knight e7. He played castles, castles. And in this position, uh, Michalewski played the move a4. And the move a4 is not supposed to be so good in this position. We will see what's, what happens. Queen c2 is uh, the, one of the best moves for white in this position. OK, what would you guys play here? Let's see how you handle the Benoni. Can we just no? Okay, we have bishop b7 as a, as a suggestion. What else? Uh, rook e8 also looks natural. Rook e8, or maybe yeah. just push the pawns on the queen side, like playing either, maybe play uh, c4 and get the knight to c5 to put more pressure on e4. That's also one of the ideas, but I, yes. it's rook e8. b4 is like the there. other uh, pawn. b4 push. looks good, um, but then uh, I think the thing about b4 here is that knight e4 is possible. Knight. You can a4? play b4, knight a4, mm, and I kind of yeah. want to stop you and install my knights on these two squares, or yeah. only with c4. Yes, b4 gives y the c4 square, and right now he will be able to use it. But rook e8, no? The one that the move that you were suggesting, Sophie, looks a yeah. lot, looks natural and makes a lot of sense. Just develop our pieces, and we know that e4 is one of the targets for black. Yeah. Uh, all the time. So why not just make sure that uh, that that pawn is well under attack. Now, what are we waiting for? We are actually waiting for a4 from white. And this is now when we can play maybe e4 yeah. and the knight can't go there. So it has to go backwards. Let's say knight d1. Uh, and you guys already know this. Yeah, is this from is yes. this from the is this is from the uh, warm up position? Yes. Yes. You can play g five and say on d five. That's right. Knight d five. Let's just go through these lines again for everybody who's joined late. Bishop d six. We saw here and knight f four. Attacking the bishop on e two. Oh, I remember now. There was a question. I think I didn't answer. Uh, I forgot about that. I saw it, but you were analyzing knight e five, and. Uh, there was someone asking about bishop f4 of course it's possible but we're just going to take back and we have removed this powerful bishop that white had and then the attack is coming right bishop d4 queen g5 95 yeah, i think it's stronger. this is crazy here white is in uh, under a lot of pressure maybe it's better than bishop f3 when we saw that uh, 95 is strong maybe it's a better solution in this position but it's still very bad for white so um yeah here there are problems with the bishop on e2 and in this position they play bishop g3 and not touch anything they don't touch anything on on, a, on the a file 
but white will simply uh, play improving moves like rook e1, rook c1. Maybe b3 can be an idea for white, just to prepare for, in case of b4, have knight a4, and knight b2. But stand still, don't go crazy on the queen side with white. Now let's see the game, because this all looks very similar. Yeah, knight b6 after bishop g3, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's how it will probably go. So let's see a4 here. Yeah, we already know that here we yeah. go b4. And the knight is now going to b1. Not a very pleasant square for this knight. But there's, there isn't another one. And I think that white was thinking here that uh, he might get the knight to c4. And then if the other knight gets to d2, it's, it will be fine. Is this, yeah, okay. Yeah. But what do we do here? How are we going to start this? So they want to play knight c4 right away. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, I guess so, because then d6 will be hanging. Or queen c2 first, just make sure that e4 is defended. I kind of want to play g5 at some point, at least, to get the... Uh, to be able to move the knight on f6. So if I play d5 and, and bishop g3, then um, and then maybe rook e8 threatening the e pawn right away. I think I would or maybe right away, or maybe I would play d5 first. <laughs> okay, you can play it right away. There's nothing wrong with rook e8 here. It's I think very natural. Big part of the Benoni is fighting up for the c4 square. Yes. But yeah. uh, in this game, White's not making it to c4. He does want to do that, but uh, we won't let him. So here you want to play g5 first, bishop g3. You can do that, of course, rook e8. That's one way to do things. But you can also go for rook e8 immediately. There are actually many good moves here. Yes, rook e8. Uh, yeah. Uh, 95. Hold on, let's see if 95 works. Do I have e f4 in that position? That's what I would be afraid of. Yeah, I'm maybe, <laughs> maybe 95 is too soon. f4 looks good, and then you have to go back to d7. But if you uh, get the move g5 in between, you might be able to play 95. But rook e8 seems very natural, no? Yeah. I also kind of like, uh, Bill Miro is suggesting to put the queen on c7. Mm -hmm. Just to get out of the pin, I guess, and yeah. protect d6. Yes, that's also an idea. And there's also the idea of putting the queen on e7 to keep an eye on e4. But of course, if you yeah. put the queen on e7, then you'll still be on this pin, uh, which might be annoying. So queen c7, to me, makes more sense. But queen e7 is, is a good move. It doesn't mean that it's a bad move. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you all right, Sophie? Yeah, I am right. Just a it's summer flu? Allergies. Oh, allergy, OK. <laughs> allergies, yeah. <laughs> so yes, uh, he went for rook e8 and queen c7. That was your plan, guys. Um, f4. Rook e8 and, and queen c7, yeah. And queen c7 here, yeah. We are getting out of the pin, and we are threatening to take e4. Good. So now he goes bishop f3. All right. So. Time to C4. C4 Maybe. is what you'd play here? Wow, Sophie, nice. I mean, we, we have the option now to play it, right? Yes, nice, very nice. So now you see C4 without even having to think about it. Yes, it's just like yeah. the idea that you have there all the time. Very nice. That's what he played here, C4. Makes sense to push these pawns. Playing as white is comfortable here. Okay, maybe it looks like it because you have a f4 and e4 on the board, but this position uh, is a decisive advantage for black already. Because we have gotten c4 in and white's not getting to the square c4. We are first to strike with black. And there are actually more interesting plans here besides c4, which looks very good. A move like rook b8 is also very strong. What is the point of this move? For example, if queen c2? 
that looks normal. What do you think Black wants to play next? Yeah, and I don't be one looks ugly. I would agree on that. Something about the B three, but I but I'm I'm still trying to find out how it works. Let's see, we have yeah B three. Yeah, you you B3, kind of have want also knight B six. You kind of want to have B three at some point. You don't necessarily need to play it right away, but then your idea, Sophie. This you had some ideas with A five in the initial. Uh, yeah, position. I just see uh, somebody just yes, just Arian, just yes, Arian, I see just now. Just so a5 and bishop a6 is very strong. Yeah. You could also play this way. And of course, you could also play for c4 the way you want it to. If rook e1 in this position instead of queen c2, you're, you're still going for c4. Somebody is saying e5 is hanging, but there, is, e4? there isn't anything on e5. Maybe e4, e4? Is, e4, e4 is, is not hanging. hanging. There's a knight After b3. Uh, on queen oh, yeah, c2. e4. Okay, yeah. so this is. Fab says that e4 is hanging after playing e3. In some lines, so, yes. Yeah. e4 is hanging after playing b3, and there are lines where you actually use that. That's why the rook is useful on b8. Yeah. I'm not sure if right away the knight will be hanging on b3, but there's some queen e8 I need to... Like, if I play b3 right away, um, and I take with my knight, I'm not sure it works, no, because e4 is still defended, and I don't think any sacrifices work for now. That's why queen c2. Even though it looks a little bit funny to take on e4 and then take on b2 with the rook in the end, but it's probably yeah. Not that's thing. that's position the position where I was thinking that I have some queen e8 in case you want to sacrifice on e4. You need to watch out. It's it's kind of early, yes, b3, but it's there. It's an yeah. idea that you have and one needs to be careful. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you this idea because last week I told Sophie that the c-pawn is a goner <laughs> and she was yeah. not familiar with this <laughs> with this expression. So now I want to, sh to show you, Sophie, how this pawn can, <laughs> can be a goner. So here if c4 and they go queen c2, for example, you are not worried about this pawn. And here knight no. c5 is what we want to play. And we just tell them, okay, you go ahead and take that pawn, but I have such strong pieces. Yeah. And now I'm going to ask you guys, what happens after knight c4? I think b3 is looking good now. Because That's right. it's not easy for white to protect the... No, no, impossible. Easy, yeah. no, impossible. <laughs> yeah, okay. So they don't have a way to defend e4, and the rook on b8 will be defending our pawn on b3 in case of queen d1. We yeah. have that pawn under control. So, what happens if queen takes c4 then? That's the other move white can play here. Uh, what are we going for? Maybe now we could go for the a5, bishop a6 idea. Very nice, Sophie. You are getting Thank a good you. understanding of the Benoni. And if e5, this doesn't work because of bishop a6. Yes, a5 and bishop a6, Ariano was suggesting as well. Okay, what do we do now? What do we do about the e5 move that he just played? He's hoping that our knight on c5 will be hanging after all the trades. Mm. I'm looking at <laughs> b3 again. 
Um, but maybe he can take with the knight because our knight is also hanging in f6. So I'll just keep looking a little bit. Can I maybe take, take? That's the first thing you have to calculate. You shouldn't just take, trust your opponents. Take, take. They will make bad moves as well. So does it really Ooh. work? <laughs> I'm just going to see if I can make some of these arrows that you're so yes, good please. at. <laughs> um, it's not so easy. It looks so easy when okay. you see them on the stream because you see okay. all the <laughs> the arrows. It's not easy to make arrows at all, right? Uh, because well, maybe <laughs> I could play. Maybe I can play my bishop here first. Okay, or but as the second move. It's, it's, hold on. What was the what was the the order, Sophie? When you were looking yeah, at the I don't candidate know. I'm moves, not really, I'm just. <laughs> Okay, it let's let's remember that. This era. So okay. first we are looking at take, take take all the captures. That's right. We are looking at all the captures uh, first and take, then take, take, take. Okay, but so far nothing is hanging. I'm still protecting the knight and see. But there's a uh, white rook I, there's a white rook on e5 that you'll need to take probably. <laughs> yeah, but I take that with the rook. No, no. It's D takes e5, f takes e5, rook takes e5. Ah, rook, yeah, okay, so rook e5. <laughs> rook takes e5. And then, okay, so then let's say that I take with the queen. Okay. And he takes here. On c5. Then, Does that um, work? Then I need to have some good ideas. Maybe I can take down here. Or? Threatening the rook. And if what the rook is moves, there? I can take the knight. The knight's defended. Uh, yeah, by this knight also, that's true. But I'm, yeah. So you can just move. But can you really move the rook? Yeah, that's the problem. The rook's not going anywhere. No. And there's something else besides queen takes b2? Mm, maybe... Uh, Oh, the the C eight is still protected by the bishop, so maybe I can put my rook here. Yeah, and get that you to have the two back moves in that position. Once queen b two, uh, if you look for all the captures, queen b two is the first one you'll spot, and then rook c eight is the second one. So, please check the lines until the end. Don't just trust your opponents; they will no. try to trick you. Queen takes e5, queen c5, and here the move Sophie was suggesting, queen b2 is winning because the rook has no squares. And then queen c, rook c8, the other move Sophie suggested is also winning because we have rook c8, c1 in the end. Yeah. And that's going to be made. This did not happen in the game, no? This did not happen in the game, no, because no. white, I mean, white black was playing went, too well. Actually, because black went for c4. Thomas right. is asking if uh, Benoni is a good opening for beginners. If Benoni is a good opening for beginners, like how beginners? Because if you are really just starting out, uh, I'm not sure that you need to learn a lot of theory and you should go for system-like types of openings. Yeah, I, I have an idea that Benoni is starting to get good at like club level and then maybe until 20-something. <laughs> like you can... <laughs> I mean, grandmas, some grandmasters play it still, yeah? Yes, they do, yes, of course. Yeah. But let's see how the game continued. After c4, uh, white played e5. So he's also getting aggressive. Now, if queen c2... Oh, let me just see the position. After he... Okay, I will just refresh. Uh, after c4. c4. Can you see the board now, Sophie? E5? Yeah, he played e5 straight away. Yes. I was just going to show you guys that queen c2 is similar to what we were looking at before because knight c5 very very similar to our yeah. lines uh, previously a5 is coming with the idea of bishop a6 and even if for example rook c1 now we are not getting the pawn back but this is a very good position for black rook c8 for example is a move yeah and then there is this move, queen d7, just getting out of the pin. And we might want to play knight d3 next. 
Yeah. So this is all very interesting here for black on down, but a lot of compensation for that. Very active pieces. Yeah, that's what we are playing for here. And I just saw somebody ask in the chat, my rating is um, is about 18, 1900. Okay, yes. Yeah. And then you can play the Benoni as Sophie yeah, is. I think so. <laughs> She's just starting to. And I need some more positional understanding. So uh, I think because of that, Benoni is also it's quite a positional opening. Yeah, depends on how the play goes. It has yeah. also tactics, yeah, it can also be. Then... Yeah, you showed us it can be very tactical. Yes, I've heard is that Hikaru doesn't like the Benoni, but. Uh, Who doesn't there... like the Benoni, Hikaru? Yeah. But there are so many other players who played. Wojtasek is yeah. one of them. Actually, the previous game that we saw with Knight H6 was a game by Wojtasek. And he's a 2700, so I don't know what to tell you guys. I think uh, not all the 2700 agree on that. Yeah. So, okay. Um, he goes E5 here. Yeah, and exactly. Mihail Tal loved it, and that's enough. That's true, yeah. Tal, uh, well, Shuba, Topalov yeah. also played that. So they were not okay. uh, E five. Can we just take it? Fisher played it. Yes. Fisher, yeah. <laughs> and there are so many That's top players who play it from time to time. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. But let's go back to our game. What happens after E five? Yeah. I, mean, I guess we should take it. But <laughs> what is Black's? What's a, what's White's idea? Yes, if we take it. I, I don't know. I just think I can <laughs> take the pawn, and it's a bad move. But it. He probably has some idea with playing it. There is something he probably wants to open up for his rook on f1, right? And maybe put some pressure on, on the knight or the f7 pawn. The typical pattern yeah. you have to remember, Sophie, after e5 is yeah. that whenever the pawn leaves d6, you kind of automatically have to think about the move d6. This is happening ah, okay. almost every time. Yeah. So let's see if that works here, d6. What do we think about it? Looks, he takes the five of this. It looks pretty uh because I can I can give a check to get um my queen to say D, or I can maybe just take the pawn, but of course the rook is hanging and we mm. don't like that. But if I give a, any check, white's bishop will go to f2 and then I think I'm in trouble. And then the rook on a8 will still be hanging, right? Yeah, yeah, so I have too many hanging pieces. Queen b8. Okay, uh, how is this position? We probably have enough, well, a lot of compensation for the exchange. But Sahis uh, was not in the mood of sacrificing the exchanges yet. So here, instead of taking on e5, do we have any other options? Yes. What do we have? <laughs> we can we can take on d5 and then play queen c5 and 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 capture the the bishop if the bishop takes back on d5. Okay, I like that suggestion because here I'm going to flip the board and ask you what is white going to play after knight d5. Is the board flipped? Yes, it hasn't flipped ah, okay. for you. My board is not flipped yet. Something but I can flip it to myself. Something if, fishy uh, there. Don't know. I will just flip my board. So okay. what can white play? Some calculation. Okay, so why it well. doesn't have to take on d5, that's not forest. Yeah, so that's the point. Then what is the point? We could maybe... We can take on d6. Um, ah, yes, the chat is... Queen 6 and then taking on c4. Or taking on c4 right away, yeah? Also that, that's also... Uh, 
probably yeah. more forcing because then you might have some checks yeah. that we need to calculate. But knight a c4 opens the queen and uh, white wants to take on d5 once again. So right here in this position, knight takes d5 doesn't work. Yeah, there's a problem with knight d5. I'm going to flip the board back. Sophie, I think you have to do that yourself. Yeah, I will flip it. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys what he played here. He went for c3. Lots of tactics happening here. Yeah. And many ideas. The knight on d2 is hanging, but there's also this idea of getting c2. And the knight on b1 will be hanging in some lines. But I just don't see how... How that works? Let's uh, see. Yeah, maybe because if... So if white captures an f6, we play yeah. c2. We can play c2, oh. but even more precise here is to get our bishop out of the yeah okay threat take on um, f6 we are threatening the bishop and the funny thing about this position is that we will still get c2 bishop takes and here is where we have to go c2 in between move and look at that knight on b1 <laughs> that's trapped yeah it's a horrible piece. Horrible piece. But, but yeah. we are not really threatening to take it. Yeah. We are threatening to give a check and take it. So we are ah, okay. yeah, that safe works. there. And if the king moves away, we will have time to defend our queen. Also, maybe we are actually threatening to take it because we get a queen. Oh, we get a queen, it. yes, yes. That's a good point as well. <laughs> so, okay. Let's see what happened after c3. He didn't take on f6. He took on c3 first. Pawn... Now he, oops, this is not what I was going to show. Bishop takes c3. Now, yeah. <laughs> now it's on the right line. Bishop b takes c3. And here, um, okay, if they take on f6, this uh, will have similar ideas. We are going to get our material back. Here we can take with the knight. Yeah. Again, threats against d2, threats again with c2. And now if queen c1, what do we play? How do we get our piece back? Mm. We play... Oh, I need to be careful about uh, because now the bishop can go to f2. Okay, so, so you are looking at queen check, bishop. Yeah, F2. I'm looking at a queen uh, b6, a queen c5, mm -hmm. so that the queen will be on a protected square. But yeah. um, then bishop f2, and then it's not really. And then what do you play? after bishop f2. I might... Ah, uh, maybe I can still take on... I can take on d2 anyway because I'm threatening white's queen, so white would have to take the... Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. That's all correct. So... Take... And take here. On yeah. d2 because we are attacking the queen. Okay, yeah. and then we can move our queen, maybe queen d8, to be headed to the king side. But is this uh, is this better for a black? This is kind of equal. Uh, equal. I think. Okay. Yeah. But okay, queen c1 here was the only move. What happens if queen c2? Because after queen c2, we don't have. Yeah, then we yeah. don't threaten the queen when we take that. Um, can I I'm, I'm just gonna cheat and look in the chat um, no suggestions, I'm afraid. 
We can still take a d2, somebody says, but then... I, I can't take a d2 now, then the queen is hanging, so then I should give a check before, but then the problem is bishop f2. Yeah. Um... Bishop f5, I take on c3. Cyrus. Bishop f5. Ah, oh, bishop f5 is an idea, but then you're taking on c3 and it's... Mm, over them. No, it's not working. Queen. You're a piece down. Ah, uh, maybe that's smart. Which one? No, I'm not sure if it's working. As um, Crunks <laughs> suggests Queen b6 check, Bishop f2, and then Queen b2, but I think... That's... Uh, these ideas can be played, but here, if when yeah. you play Queen b2... Um, I can take on queen. c3 again? Yeah. Or even maybe he could take on b2 and move the rook. And rook a2 or rook a3, right? But then there's that pawn on b2. I, I'd rather take it, queen c3. <laughs> queen b2, just take that pawn. Knight b7 looks a bit too slow, I think. And I don't really see... I w we're protecting the pawn, of course. But then the knight moves, right? Yeah, it doesn't look too. Okay, uh, I'm going to give you a hint. More it, effective. It is a knight move, but not knight d7. It is. Some, okay, <laughs> somebody just suggested. Ah, uh, Arjun just suggested knight d5. So you're sacrificing another piece. I'm going to take mm. it. Now. Ah, you want queen c5. But the not, it's not a sacrifice because we can then give a queen check and take and d5. But you already are a piece down. Yeah, I know. I Cannot know. forget <laughs> about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, if we weren't a piece yes, down, Josh. We definitely yes. take on d5. So something. Josh, Josh has it. Josh, Knight g5. Josh, okay. Knight g4. g4. Sorry. Knight g4, because we want knight e3. Ah, okay. There and is then a everything, there. yes. Knight g4, that's the problem with queen d2. Now we're defending c3. Yep. Now we're defending c3. And if they take, okay. Uh, we're going to take back, and your, your ideas, guys, with the bishop f5 would work. Bishop f5 right away, they take our pawn on c3. So there were a lot of suggestions yeah. with bishop f5 here, but they just take our pawn, queen c3. But instead, if we start with knight g4, you'll have similar ideas. Bishop takes, now bishop takes, and bishop f5 will work. Knight f3, bishop f5. Sophie, can you see the board, or is it just frozen? Uh, yeah, I think I can, I, okay. I can see. Uh... Bishop oh, wait, no, I'm sorry, I can't see the board. <laughs> So I'm just going to refresh yeah, yeah. the... Yeah, now I can see it, yeah. And bishop f5 now, followed by c2, and we are fine, right? Okay, let's go back to the game. And complicated. See, very complicated, yes. So let's see what happens if... Oh, queen c2 first, pinning the pawn. Sophie is Dutch. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm Danish. Danish? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> With a D! <laughs> I meant Danish, Sophie, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I just, I hadn't, I, I didn't see it in the chat, so I just thought it was such a weird thing to say. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah. Um, what was, did you have a so, question? <laughs> yes, Queen C2, what happens after Queen C2? <laughs> you have to move now, Sophie. <laughs> Yeah, I have two moves. Is that no, what I mean you'll I have, have you'll have to move now. I move have to. from Denmark. You have to go to. Yeah, but actually, I am going to Norway in a, in, a, in a few weeks. So. But that's still not Dutch. <laughs> no, that's still not Dutch. Still not Dutch. Um, okay, let's go. So, what do we play here? You guys had ideas here. <laughs> Johan, you're also Dutch <laughs> in that case. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's also. Danish game, a different face. Um, 
D takes C5. Yeah. Okay. Five. And on D6, yeah. what do you guys play? Yeah. Uh, but ne no. Is it working? We can take on D6, but then if it takes the rook, we can take on D2, but then aren't we so down an exchange? Down. Mm. We're down exchange. Then. Exchange, yeah. Oh, was this something about the? No, I'm not. I'm. I can't. Uh, I don't see how I get out of this. You guys had so many ideas, and at some point they all work. So someone, many people were suggesting here the idea of yes, exactly, Chipian. Queen b6 and then queen b2. This works very well here. It does. Yeah. Okay. Because what happens if? He just takes on c3 with the queen. Yeah, they can take on c3 with the queen, and well, now we'll just have to. Hold on, was it? Yeah, we'll just have to give up the the exchange actually. Okay, but we have. We also have. What was it here? I think rook b8. We also had here, right? That's the idea. I'm not sure what position do you have on your board. Okay, I'm just going to play rook. Okay, no, yeah, here I'm thinking yeah. about. I haven't played anything. I'm just thinking that rook b8. We can play here. We are uh, not yeah, a piece okay. down so anymore. So yeah, this, that's true. this, uh, this is fine for us. Okay. Okay. So he goes queen c1. Let's see this. No, queen c1. Yeah. Now it's. Now it works. Now we have the idea about playing. Playing what? <laughs> playing uh, queen b6, for example. Queen b6 and then rook, uh, bishop f2. Two. And then we can take on d2 and threaten the queen. We do have that idea. Yep, that works. But there is uh, an even better move. Again, all the ideas that you guys were seeing before, they, they change with every move. And something that didn't work before now works very well. So you are seeing this move, knight d5. Ah, uh, yeah. And guess what? Now it works. <laughs> <laughs> Josh just uh, saw it. Yeah, that's correct. Knight d5. Yeah. Uh, there's a nice trick here. Does knight take c3 work? No. Why not? <laughs> Obviously uh, not, but why not? Obviously not. Because we can just... We can take it with the um, with the knight. And if I take your rook, isn't then the rook I put my knight on e2 and win the queen. Yeah, that's right. So yeah. they don't have knight c3 here. This is the line we were seeing. Bishop a8 doesn't work because knight e2 is winning the queen. Good. Yeah. So then in so the game. That was easy, yeah. Bishop d5 was played, and now we have queen c5. King moves away. We take this bishop. Knight c3. Where would you guys put the queen? Bishop. Oh, I'm sorry. Queen? <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> yeah, no, I was looking at bishop b7, but we should probably take the queen. Probably, first. yeah. Probably. Um, but then. But then what? Where do we put the queen? And maybe put it on c6 so that we have ideas about playing bishop b7. Uh, and we're still protecting b6. Well, the best is e6. To still okay. protect d6. And you do have an idea of bishop b7, but the queen is going uh, somewhere on the king's side. I'm not yeah. going to tell you where you're going to have to find that later. So now pawn takes d6 was played, and this seems to be the final mistake from white. Bishop b7. Yeah. We are not very interested in taking that pawn. No. He goes to b1. We stay on this diagonal. Yeah. Knight f3. Okay, and now he takes this pawn on d6. 
and he goes back on e6. Queen e6, knight d4. So, what do we do here? We can almost take on p2. Maybe we can take on p2. Uh, or maybe just queen g4? Queen g4. So, you are giving me that bishop on c6, right? Yeah, but then I'm getting the bishop on h4, but maybe... Mm. And do you want that? Isn't that bishop no. on c6 like something really strong in this position that you wanted to... Okay, Bob is suggesting queen h3, but again I'm taking your bishop on c3. But it's a nice idea, but then maybe I should take on g2 and then king takes and queen g4, bishop g3... Okay, Josh, no, you are really right. Just is seeing something. Okay, I'm just gonna go see what Josh is suggesting. So if you guys are worried about losing the bishop on c6, why don't we just take it, no? We should take d4. Ah, yeah. It was that easy. I'm sorry, this is too easy. <laughs> just like the previous one. Bishop takes, yeah. rook takes, and then queen h3. That is like the good bishop, so we don't want to... Uh, yeah, but here the tactics are, are all in our favor. Okay, it's, so he uh, tries to survive. No, no okay. he's still playing knight d5. And he was hoping for this knight c7. Yeah. Well, I, I have to show you here that queen takes c6 doesn't work, right? Rook e1. No. Has That's everybody great. seen that? So knight c7. What do we do now? How did black finish the game? Sophie is a good can player, play, yes. Can we play queen f2? Can we play queen f2? Okay, and how is that if I take your bishop and then take one of the rooks? Oh, you want to make me only one. I just showed you that and then I'm, I'm, I'm falling into <laughs> the same trap. <laughs> I no, just I'm think queen f2, I'm pointing at g2, g2. and also the rook on d4. Mm. It's hanging. That might yeah. work. Queen f2 might work, right? I don't have rook d2 because Sophie wants to take on g2 with the bishop. Um, but maybe I how's can. How's queen g1? Queen g1 can I take looks very it? awkward, but. So maybe can you can take on g2. How's that? Taking on g2, king takes rook e2. That looks pretty good. Yes. King f3. Queen f2. Yeah, it's, that's going to be checkmate, I think. Right. So bishop yeah. g2. But queen f2, the move that Sophie suggested, is also fine. Queen f2, because on queen g1. Sophie, can you see the board? I'm just going to refresh. Yeah, after uh, queen g1? Yeah. Do you see it now? Yeah. But I'm now I can see it when g2. Yes. You can also play that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Bishop takes g2 and then you take the rook. So this is also winning, but bishop g2 is made in few more moves. King takes yeah. and rook e2, yeah. And then we make them on h2. Suppose they go here. And this is a very nice mate. Queen h2, it's yeah. over. It isn't? King g1, yes. King g1 is what he played. So then what? The rook on a8 is hanging, yes. But there's no time for, <laughs> for why to take it. So what do we play after king g1? I mean, if we, if we remove the bishop, we have the threat of... Quitting the, or maybe just queen g4 right away? Queen g4? Queen g4 is one, you are right, and then you want to do to play bishop h3, right? Yeah, yeah. And rook e2 is another one. Similar ideas of queen f2. Yeah, rook e2. Both of them work. 
Well, actually, he resigned after... 95, somebody. Yeah, 95 is also... Uh... 95, wow, very nice. I hadn't thought yeah. about that. It definitely is flashy. Does it work? We'll have to see. Knight of three... I like flashy moves. Yes, they are pretty, but we have to see if they are also good. <laughs> <laughs> so, 95... What's happening? I take on e8 and you want knight f3, king g2, queen h2. Ah, that looks like mate, no? It's probably I 95 is working. Can... It does. Do you have it on the board? No, I will put it on no, the board. No, it's just uh, visualizing. 95. But uh, because I'm thinking 98, I can even take on e8 and the threats are still there. So my opponent is not escaping with the king, no? Do you see the board, yeah. Sophie? Yeah, I see the board. Yeah. Okay, 95. Uh, now it's up to you. Queen g4, move, Sophie's move. And then rook e2, the move that I had thought about, is also winning. So, whichever you guys prefer. The game finished after bishop g2. So, yeah, very nice game of yeah. Lev Sahis, who's also one of the um, uh, specialists in this line. So, if you guys have any questions now, we are open for... There was someone asking here about uh, how long it takes to reach... What was your question? Could you repeat that, please? Takes to reach... Okay, I see it. 2,000 feet from 1,400. Well, I would say that it depends on you, <laughs> definitely. I take... The time is only up to you, how, how much you are ready to invest in this. Uh, it's definitely easier for someone who's helping you because as you I can almost see, got to 2000 on my blitz rating yesterday. I wanted to reach it. I got to 1992. Wow. And I wanted to get above 2000 so I could tell you, but then I, <laughs> <laughs> then I, I lost a few games. So but I'm very proud anyway. You were like, what, 1750 or something, 1800? What was your rating on? I think my uh, standard rating is, yeah, 1800 something. No, but on leeches, how was it? On leeches, oh, I, do, I don't really use leeches so much, so. My, ah, uh, okay. my chest. Oh, chess.com is what you're using. And yeah. how, was, how was your rating there? It, 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 I almost got to 2000 yesterday. So now it's 1960 or something. Oh, you'll be there in a moment. You just yeah. see, we should just see some more games in the Benoni and that's... Yeah, I think so. I'm really <laughs> starting to like playing the Benoni in, in Blitz also. Uh, so you played Sinan... Ah, they played Bishop B5. The line that we were seeing? Yeah, that's not... Uh, yeah, that's not very good that's for black. Everything's going bad there. But now you know to play a6. Yeah. So, okay. What else? Oh, I, I was saying that uh, it, it depends definitely on you how long it takes to reach uh, higher elo. Uh, depends on the time you invest, on how much you work and train. But it's also important if you have some help. And I think it's yeah. easier, at least in my uh i found it easier with the help of a coach uh because yeah well you see the games but it's you're not so objective as someone looking from the outside is and maybe sometimes you don't even understand the the mistakes you are making and if there's someone there to point them out for you and to you know create a training plan that's suitable for you for example with, with sophie we've been working on positional play in the beginning and now yeah. She's and improve on my black openings because I, mm. my openings with black have been a little shaky. So now I'm starting to get a better like idea of the openings that I'm playing, and I think also the um, you can train a lot of the tactics yourself. But yeah, with the positional play, it's it's that's where really the tricky really part is to have a coach because it's so much harder to just understand all the positional ideas than just like a simple tactic. That's something we can just go to like a tech tech trainer, but the positional play is really um, something mysterious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's hard. The to tactics uh, are hard. usually pointed out immediately by the computer, for example, but yeah. then uh, then the positional part, the computer can give you moves, uh, but they won't tell you ideas. So that's something you need to find yourself, which yeah. is not so and difficult in order for the uh, tactics to even be there in your games, you need to play positionally good. Well, yes. That's and there's no tactics without positional play and the other way around. Yeah. So they will always have. In the Benoni, we've seen this a lot. 
uh, we start like positional ideas, improving our pieces, and then bam, <laughs> yeah. it all I mean, goes I started. actually don't know this because we've been focusing on the on the black openings. Do you play E4 or D4? With I'm white? a D4 player myself, yes. Oh, okay. I'm an E4 player. Yeah, so you'll see a bit of everything here. Since we are looking at Sophie's games, then <laughs> uh, E4 is what you'll see. And of course, reading books of the strong players will help you uh, look through their analysis. Yeah, that will help you with the chess understanding in general. Just studying the classics, I think, is something uh, everybody is telling you to do. Even Magnus, doesn't he say that <laughs> all the time? You guys, go see the classics. <laughs> okay, any other questions? If there are no more questions, I think we can finish our lesson for today. Thank you everybody for, for joining us and we hope to see you next week. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.